Welcome into Red Sox Now, I'm Rachel Holt, thanks for joining us. It's officially spring, which means we're so close to opening day. Actually, from today, it's exactly one week away, we cannot wait. The big news this past week, Mike Trout inking a record-breaking contract extension with the Angels. It's not the only massive deal to happen in the past month. Trout, Bryce Harper, and Manny Machado agreeing to deals that combined are worth over $1 billion. Seriously, three guys, $1 billion. These contracts are sure to impact the Red Sox down the road. Jemai Webster is in Fort Myers to tell us why. Well, Rachel, one day after Mike Trout signed his record 12-year, $430 million extension with the Los Angeles Angels, all the focus in Major League Baseball shifted to the next great player. That's Mookie Betts. So inside the Red Sox clubhouse, it was something that he addressed as far as where the money lies and his future with the Sox. Definitely keep your ears open and, and, and see what's what's said, but that doesn't mean uh, you necessarily have to uh, agree on uh, or, or take whatever is, is, is given. So, um, you know, like I said, I love it here. And, uh, I think uh, this is a great place to be, spend your career here, um, but it doesn't mean uh, sell yourself short. Red Sox star Mookie Betts saying all the right things as you just heard. He's put his name in the conversation over the last few seasons as far as the best player in baseball, winning the American League MVP last season, of course. Red Sox wrap up their Fort Myers stay on Saturday. Then they head to Arizona for a couple before starting the regular season in just a short time. Thankfully, the Sox locking down Wally for a good amount of time. The lovable mascot tweeting he signed off on his long-term contract for 100,000 years and 5 billion hot dogs. As Jemai mentioned, the Red Sox will be packing their bags soon and leaving Fort Myers. They begin their season out in Seattle a few days earlier. They'll get a head start out west when they take on the Cubs in Arizona, their last games of spring training. Then the moment we've all been waiting for, opening day on April 28th. The Sox start the season with a four-game set against the Mariners. And no surprise here, the guy who got the last out in the World Series will be the one to throw out the first pitch of 2019 for the Sox. Yeah, and it's, it's the first one. So, I mean, you, you obviously get, get more locked on, get more fired up for that. And, uh, you know, we're getting out of here and, and starting that, so that's another big uh, big step in the right direction in terms of intensity. So, uh, and you know what you're playing for at that point. You know, here we're, you know, you want to win, you want to do well here, but you know, at the same time it's more build up and getting to work on and stuff like that. Uh, you want to take it seriously, but you know, obviously once, once the ball drops on day one, it's, it's go time. Hey, so this is pretty cool, or actually very cool. The Salem Red Sox will become the first team in either the majors or the minors to feature an all-female broadcasting booth in 2019. This is the announcement the team made in February. Melanie Newman recently joined the team, and this week, while she was down in Fort Myers, Jemai Webster got a chance to ask her about the new gig. It's unreal when you think about it at the end of the day. For me, it's just getting up and doing my job, and there was an offer that fit and was a really good match for me. And I took it, um, but then to see that it is a little bigger than what I thought it would be at face value, it means a lot. And the fact that it means young girls can see that headline and analyze that even if it's not baseball, but something else that's not traditionally a female field, that they can still do that if that's where their passion lies. Congratulations, Melanie. We'll be watching for you. And congratulations are also in order for a number of Red Sox players who are giving out team superlatives. We know this thing usually happens at the end of the year, but they're the World Series champs. They can do it their way. Here are some of the highlights. The best singer. Rockstar. Let it go. Hold me back anymore. Most likely to miss the boss. Easy. Eduardo Nunez. <laughs> I ride on time all the time. Obviously between Sandy or I. It's dark, it's full. We got a lot of good beers in the team, but I'd say his is the best. Best beer, Mookie because it's actually not. All right, before we go, the Sox played a game of face mash with a few of the guys. They put the faces of two current players together, face mash, and asked the team to look at the image and guess who the players were. Let's see if you're any good at it. Here is number one. If you ask me, it kind of just looks like Rafael Devers, but apparently, Blake Swihart is in there too. Me and Swihart. Number two, this one is Eduardo Nunez and Jackie Bradley Jr. Don't feel bad if you didn't get that right away. A lot of their teammates didn't. Number three, this one should have been very easy for you. They're good buddies. Brock Holt and Andrew Benintendi. 
me and Brock. So. That does it for this week's episode of Red Sox Now. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you later.